Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install auto install a VPK and install auto plugin, adrenaline and PKGJ in basically one minute. So this is a really useful application if you've got your PS Vita and you recently installed custom firmware and you haven't really set it up yet. So if you guys want to install this, what you want to do is just go ahead and open up a Vita shell. Once Vita Shell starts up, press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Now you will need to go to the link in the description to get the auto install at VPK. This was last updated on the 1st of December 2018, so it's actually fairly new. And all you guys want to do is just click the blue download link, and then the file will begin downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you want to go to your downloads folder and just find the file in here. And what we're going to do is just drag and drop this to the root of our PS Vita. So it should take a few seconds and now once it's copied across we are done with the computer so we can go back onto our PS Vita and I will show you guys what to do next. Back over on your PlayStation Vita we can close out this message and you want to go down to find your UXO and now you want to find your VPK. So here is mine auto install a VPK. I'm going to press X and then X again to install it. It might come up I'm asking you this message as well, just press X for yes. Now just give it a couple of seconds just to install. When it's finished, we can just press the home button, close down Vita Shell, and let's just find the auto install of VPK on our home screen. So let's just tap it, and now we can tap start. It's just going to load up the program. If it comes up with this system message, press X for yes. Press X again and then press X again. Each time this message comes up, just make sure you press X for yes. And then it's going to say your PS Vita will restart. The VPK have been installed. So maybe it should say VPKs. But we're just going to press X for OK. And our PS Vita is now going to restart. Okay, so let's just go on to it. Let's just run our custom firmware quickly. I've got HN Core. Let's just start that up. Make sure to install it unless you've got QCore like me where we'll close down. And now we can swipe and check this out. Adrenaline, PKGJ, I find that hard to pronounce every time. And we've also got the Adrenaline Updater which is pretty cool so we can update it. I don't think I've actually used this thing before. And of course it would have given you auto plugin. I already had it. Um, but what it would have done is probably updated it to the latest version. So we've got information, um, version 3.59, is that the latest version? It probably is. So yeah, let me just show you these things work. I didn't actually have these installed before. So as you can see, um, oh, this one, oh, it needs setting up. So we're just going to press X to install it. And it's going to install the 6.61 firmware. So yeah, I really like this application. It's pretty cool. I'll let this install, show you that it works. I'll show you the other things that it installed as well. And you guys know how this works, it's basically just a PSP emulator. I've made several videos on different things you can do with this. And then there you go, you can just set it up like normal, like you would on a PSP. And yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. So let me show you the other things. We also got Auto Plugin. You double tap the home button to get out of this. So we've got Auto Plugin on here, let's just start that up. Okay, so it has got an update, so if you launch it, and it does have an update, it asks you to do it anyway, which is pretty good. And then once it's updated, it will just boot up just like this. So there is one thing you may actually need to install in Auto Plugin. That is the config.txt for the PKGJ. So we're just going to press X and it's going to say it has been installed. And now we can just go down to exit. Let me just show you PKGJ working as well. So let's just open up this. There is also a new update for this. But you guys get the idea, it's pretty cool. You can install these three main programs um, just basically in under a minute and with only one program. So if you don't know where to find them, this is a really easy way to do it. Let's just refresh the database real quick. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.